Welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we're kind of doing the usual, going on an adventure. I'm at a fishing access spot. There's actually a really nice uh, spillway behind me, a nice weir underneath this bridge. So we're definitely going to do some fishing there on our way out of here. First we're going to do a little bit of hiking. I'm just going to explore around this area, see what I can find. Supposedly there's some like secret, unmarked, unnamed trail out here from this access area somewhere that leads to a uh, beautiful waterfall on the National Forest, supposedly the highest waterfall east of the Mississippi. Uh, the only thing that's kind of funny about that is I've also been to the highest waterfall east of the Mississippi in Tennessee and the highest waterfall east of the Mississippi in North Carolina and New York. So, I don't know. Everybody seems to think that they have the highest waterfall east of the Mississippi in their county. But anyway, there is a big waterfall out here somewhere, supposedly. And of course, I'm going to bring my trout rod with me, see if we can't catch some native brookies along the way as well, or at least catch something. Well, the good news is there's a bear ahead of me on the trail. So uh, hopefully that bear will scare away the snakes. I don't need to worry about dying from a rattlesnake. Bad news is, there's a bear ahead of me on the trail. We were literally hiking behind a bear for a while. I didn't get a good video of it. He was about 300, 400 feet in front of me. Just kind of sauntering along. Obviously, I, I kept my distance. Anyway, I see our first good brook trout hole right here. So um, hopefully that'll give this bear time to go wherever he's going. I don't know which direction this waterfall is. We've got a brook trout hole right here. I don't know if there's brook trout in this system. I doubt it, but uh, this goes into a creek that's stocked with brown trout, so there's definitely possibility of brown trout being in there. Look at that, we got a bite already, folks. Let's see what it's going to end up being. This could be our native brookie. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Something grabbed it on contact. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I think we have a, uh, a hole with native Virginia brook trout in it. How cool. My brook trout, 100% that was a brook trout. Oh, man, native Virginia brook trout exists. And they exist in this stream. If I know any better, I'd say I was back native brook trout fishing in western New York. Some cables on this tree. I wonder if they tried doing a trout improvement habitat in here at one point. size of that hole, man. Yes! No! This is probably about as far up as they go. Let's see if we got her. with you. forever to catch a Virginia native brook trout. I think he's off the hook. He's off the hook. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alrighty, buddy. I'll let you go. No, 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 no. Trying to release you nice. He was ready. 
We weren't intending on native brook trout fishing today. I mean, I brought some tackle with me just in case. I should have brought a net. But yeah, look at this stream. My fishing pole goes across it. Yeah, I guess there's probably some water running uh, underneath where I'm sitting. <laughs> that is That was a, a very nice size brook trout for, for this size creek. It took forever to catch that first native. I feel like the stream gets more fishing pressure than some of the streams I fish up north. I mentioned on the way up here, this whole thing here, the way that this is cut, and there's like a cable tied to that tree, it looks like there was some kind of brook trout stream habitat improvement project happened here at one point that's been long since washed out. When you see stuff like this, uh, it's usually a good indication that there are native brook trout in the stream. And look at the stream, man. Look how small it is. <laughs> and I caught a beauty, caught a beauty native brookie in it after uh, after a struggle trying to hook him. Native brook trout exist in this hole. No. There we go. Got him this time. Second one of the day. No, he came off. <laughs> oh. Oh. We almost ended the day on a high note here. We only pulled one brook trout out of here, man. I am so out of practice fishing these small streams. Had our chances today. I missed a couple. Man, that one out of that tiny puddle I think was bigger than the one I caught and it jumped. That was really something. This, this whole little adventure we had here was really something. From the bear right off the bat to, to, to catching my first Virginia native brook trout. We didn't find the waterfall I was looking for, but let me tell you, I'm ecstatically happy to catch my first Virginia native. So we're gonna head back to the parking lot, fish that weir, and uh, see what we can catch for the, the last 20, 30 minutes. Time for the next leg of our journey. Let's see, pick a tunnel, any tunnel. Pick a tunnel, any tunnel. Ooh, that looks like a good fishing spot. I say we pick this tunnel. Look at that. That's way better than the other tunnels. Good thing I put on the muck boots. This is incredibly slippery. Oh man, that might be too deep for me. The inside of this pipe is all broken. There's a tetanus shot waiting to happen. The echoes in here are freaky. Like black widows all over the place. I don't know, I don't like this. Alright, we're gonna have to choose a different tunnel. This one's a bit sketchy. The bottom's busted on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. The bottom's probably going to be busted on all these. Yeah, these are all sketchy. <laughs> going in on this side ended up just not working out. This bridge is just too sketchy to go underneath of. I see why this bridge is closed. Well, made it to the spillway. It's a nice weir, as I would call it. A shallow spillway that fish can make it up during certain times of the year. Typically, these are really good places to catch fish, especially in the fall. So let's see what kind of fish we can catch. Did not take long to catch fish. What do we got here? Bluegill. <laughs> it's actually a green sunfish, I think. Gonna be probably a lot of little junk in here. There we go. Right here, bluegill. I think that one's a red breasted sunfish. They're either a red breasted sunfish or a green sunfish. I should be taking pictures of these things and looking them up. Well, there's certainly an unbelievable surplus of panfish in here. I'm kind of hoping to, uh, I don't know, catch something other than just panfish. Catch something decent. This looks like a good area of fishing, I reckon. I think it's going to be just these green sunfish, I think, is going to be the, uh, the prime suspect of the day. And you might have to throw on some lures. There we go. Oh. I'm getting bigger. I'm getting feistier. I think this place is kind of overrun with these guys. Are you another green sunfish or are you a smallmouth this time? Something different finally. Hey, I thought I fought a little bit harder. Hey, and ourselves a smallmouth. 
Small guy. All right. Ow! <laughs> the fish in here are wicked, man. All right, I'm just gonna let you flop around in the water then, let you settle down. <sighs> this thing's just got your flaps out now. Are you gonna let me hold you? You'll be an easy, easy off, easy off if you let me hold you. Okay. Well, that was not intentional. <laughs> this is kind of fun, actually. I think he'll make his way back into the water eventually. All right. I'll let you go the nice way. Uh, see ya. Oh. What the heck? Where are you hooked? Oh, you're hooked in the mouth. You just got it wrapped around your fin. Important, right? Yeah. Should have just used you as bait. See you, buddy. Much. Oh, no, it's another smallmouth this time. Ah, no, it's a rock bass. Rock bass. Another one for variety. Boy, this one's got those spiky tops. Got him. Got him. See the red eye on them. They locally call them uh, red eyes around here. A bigger one. <laughs> that is the longest. I think this is a green sunfish. This might be my PB. I caught a pretty, pretty big green sunfish at a lake in PA once. I don't think it's actually my PB. Bigger one, though. Biggest of the day. I think the smallmouth was their longest fish of the day. That one probably weighed the most. I don't know, that brook trout. <laughs> I, I mean, we're fishing the big river here with spinners, and that brook trout was that I caught in that tiny creek was comparable to anything I'm catching in here. Well, as you can see, it is officially getting dark, so we're going to head out of here, start making our way home. Today's video started off, my plan was to make a waterfall vlog, and I guess plan B was to make a native brook trout fishing vlog in case we didn't find the waterfall, and uh, plan B worked out, man, and I thought maybe here in Virginia we are still too far south for that type of native brook trout fishing. I fished two or three streams around my house that looked just like that creek and didn't catch anything, but lo and behold, we found them today. I caught my first native brookie in Virginia, so I'm ecstatic, and we rounded out the video here with some fish here at this little <clears throat> spillway bridge thing. You know, we did catch that smallmouth and that rock bass to give us variety round out the video. So, hope you all enjoyed today's adventure. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure.